Hi, I'm Mark Inslee from Cape Town Thing. Um, this episode tries to go into a little bit more detail um, around how Cape Town Thing are currently working um, with aspiring independent uh, artists uh, in Cape Town currently and how that ties in um, with their beat licensing and contracts with us. So yeah, um, lots of you know artists perhaps don't um, have the liquid capital to go and buy that. Um, exclusive, um, you know, I'd probably argue lots of upcoming artists don't actually need their um, exclusive license to a beat. I would argue they, they need the unlimited, which, you know, again, still comes at a, you know, it comes at a premium, um, you know, when, when, when starting out careers and stuff, but I would still advise all artists to, to certainly consider using that, that unlimited license, whether they're working with us um, or, or not. Um, in working with us, um, we hope that you know we bring we bring a lot to the to the party as well. We have a studio um, here in Cape Town. We have an in-house beat maker, producer. We have mixing and mastering facilities. So, um, if an artist doesn't want to buy one of our beats, we are certainly open to a conversation about making a song uh, together. Um, that's making a song with us as CTD Beats, which is our beat making business. It's our artist name, it's our collective DJ name. Um, it encompasses a lot of, of what we do. So yeah, if an artist wants to, wants to work with us, um, they need to go onto the CTD Beats um, Beat Stars, uh, sorry, onto the Beat Stars account, uh, Cape Town thing. Um, find a beat that, that they, they find interesting, they think they could really um, make, a, make a song with us. Um, and in doing so, as we sort of touched on earlier, take that trial license, that's the first sort of first starting point. Um, if you do that and we in communication, we bring the artist into the studio, like we talk about you know, plans for the track, and yeah, we get something recorded on that, that trial license. Um, if we then want to go ahead, you know, mutually, artist and ourselves, um, we then make an initial decision, do we want to just put this out as a potential um, audio release um, or are we already that excited about the song that we're going to go in, we're going to do a music video um, and everything with it. So that's kind of just where the, the sort of contract outside of the beat licensing um, comes in. But essentially the end product is the same. If an, if an artist um, does a song with us because we want them and the artist wants to work with us, then um, we give um, the exclusive license um, to the artist on that song as part of making a song um, with us. The percentages then are um, discussed with the artist. Um, as I say, um, in the usual beat licensing exclusive contract, if an artist has paid out a thousand or two thousand um, dollars perhaps um, for an exclusive license to a beat, you know, there would be very small percentages on the mechanical. So I think that's the only thing to remember when working with us that with the studio and everything else that we feel we um, bring to the table, we try to equalize both the mechanical um, rights um, to a song as well as the traditional songwriting and performance. But yeah, ultimately it's a group discussion. We agree those terms and hopefully we go ahead um, and make some great music. Usually we distribute the song and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, we'll run a separate session on, on, on marketing music and, and how that works at Cape Town thing. But hopefully that is an understanding that if you don't want to physically pay up and buy that beat, there are options. We do want to work with talented people um, and that is hopefully a brief overview um, of what we bring to the table and how our contract is put together so both of us can happily um, hopefully make a number one hit.